To minimize the risk to our workers and to the public, Queen Anne's County buildings will now be restricted to official and urgent use only. If you need to contact us, please call, email before visiting. However, if you have to visit, please note that the following procedures will be in effect. If you need to contact the state's attorney, you can give them a call or you can check out their website and click on the Contact Us tab. If you need to contact the Register of Wills, again, it's simple. All you have to do is give them a call ahead of time, check out their website, or you can leave any pertinent documents here at the Liberty Building in their Dropbox. Should you do business with the Queen Anne's County Treasury and Finance Office, it is important to call before coming. If you should have to show up here for any reason, there are instructions on what to do inside the lobby way with further information on how to conduct business. If you have to handle any business with the water and sewer bills, it is important that you call them ahead to confirm what needs to be done because it may not need to be done in person. For all of your human resources related questions, it's real simple. Just give them a call. And also remember, you can visit QAC.org, click the Jobs tab, and do all of your applications online. If you have to do business with planning and zoning, it is encouraged that you call them ahead of time before showing up to the building. Should you need to drop off paperwork or anything further, you will have to do so inside the planning and zoning office. Once inside the planning and zoning office, you will notice instructions on what to do further should you have to conduct business with them. There is a phone here for your assistance if you should have to contact one of them. The employees are still here, however, they have been instructed to limit contact with any public. For ease of dropping off any permits or paperwork that you may need, there are boxes labeled with where you are to place the paperwork that is required for planning and zoning. If you are applying for an electrical license, even though a meeting face-to-face -face is required for that license, you are encouraged to call ahead of time and they will give you further instructions. Even though the state of Maryland has postponed elections, your Board of Elections is still working for you. If you need assistance or information, please call their office, visit their website, or email them. Thank you for following our procedures at all of our county buildings. And please know that if you have any signs of illness, you will not be permitted to enter. To stay updated on all the information, be sure to follow our social media accounts for the most accurate and up-to-date information.